Okay, one of our most favorite and most durable testers is a key tester. We sell them. Lots of Vespaca dealers and hobbyists use them. Um, they're very, very useful for everyday practices of testing gold and platinum. And I'm going to show you a little bit how to use it and which items you can test or what it's best at. Um, one thing it doesn't test for is silver. So if you need to test for silver, you need a different instrument. But if you're testing for gold or platinum, and it's jewelry or even coin, this is perfect. First of all, yeah, you got to turn it on. It has a positive and a negative. This is negative, so you don't need, necessarily need the other cord. Mostly we don't use it. And then uh, you got the wand, and the wand has a little, little abrader on it. And you just literally put the little emery abrader right next to it. I always test rings at the lowest point on the back and that's because that's where it's the weakest and where it's the most worn and you see here that it's testing in the yellow category so this little guy here is yellow as much as 14 I mean 10 karat and this one here I'll test the, with a little braider well quickly braid it a little bit Put this guy on here, and oh, that's in the green, so that's 14 karat. Alright, then we got a coin here. It's not ideal for coins, we have better testers, but in a pinch it will do to make sure it's real. Gold, anyway. And you just put it directly on the coin, and here we're up to close to 90%, which is right for this coin. It also tests platinum. Platinum is all the way over on the end, it's a silver. And this one is clearly platinum. You can test nuggets. And you can all, it's not perfect for nuggets. You're better off with the Olympus gun, but it's good enough to tell it's it's it appears to be real. Here um, we're testing the chain and it's 14 karat. This, this uh, key tester is also particularly good for testing. Um, old pocket watches. You want to test them right in here, right along here. That's where the plating would be, or the rolled gold would be the weakest. Markings are sometimes very confusing on a lot of these, and it's really hard to know whether you got the real deal or not. And you test it right here, it's showing 10 karat gold. You test it down here, and, and it's in the red, which means this is a gold filled watch. Well, if it was marked 10 karat or, or you didn't understand what the symbols were, you might make a fairly large mistake as an investor or as a dealer. So you want to be really careful to test pocket watches. It's the best I've ever seen for te te um, testing pocket watches. It also has a unique feature to be able to test whether the Rolex case and or band on a stainless steel band is real or not. It's a real simple test. You place it on the negative and you put it right here. And if it goes to red, it's not real. If it go, doesn't go to red, it is platinum. I want to test this platinum and then it's stainless steel. And uh, this, this, you can tell the difference between a real band and a real head. Um, this only holds true on Rolexes that were made in 1992 or later. The key tester has three minor disadvantages. One, you got to remember to put the lid back on it. Uh, two, you have to remember to turn it off when you're done using it. And three, you have to calibrate it every day, which is really not much of a hardship. And you basically put, put an item on that you know is 14 karat or ideally 18 karat. And you adjust it till it's the middle of where it's supposed to be and you're done for the day. It's a real simple process. Of course, always put the lid back on. And these uh, key testers sell in our store for three and a quarter, which is matte pricing. This is the newer version. And um, it's one of our fastest sellers because people really want to know what's real and what isn't real. And it's very light. It's easy to take into the field. And there's no acids. There's no gels. Um, it's not messy. Your hands don't get dirty. You don't have little yellow marks on the ends of your fingers every day. 
So we really like the key tester, and so we've been selling them like hotcakes. Thank you.